Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to the third Modify video on the Siggy. The Siggy is a single enclosure design for the Allo US Bridge Signature and Digi1 Signature, incorporating clean power supplies. In the last video, I covered the design stage of the Siggy enclosure, and this was performed in a 3D parametric modeling tool. Today, I'm going to share taking that model and actually making something with it. So for each panel in the design, for each side, we need to create a flat two-dimensional or 2D file. Usually this would uh, be done by exporting a DXF file. Now the front and rear panels of the Siggy have text engraved on them. So import these to Inkscape uh, so that I can add the legends in my chosen font. That done, it's time to pass all those files along to the laser cutter. These machines are expensive, but very cool. If you're doing this sort of thing yourself, you may be lucky enough to have a maker lab or similar near you uh, where you can get access to one. Basically, you import your design and lay it out where you want it on your material. The laser cutter itself needs vertical adjustment to suit the material thickness. Uh, this is so that the laser beam is correctly focused. It's also worth noting that there are power and speed settings which need to be set up and tested for each material type used, in this case acrylic. So after all of that is done, you hit go and cool things happen, like this. Here, I think this is the bottom panel being cut out. You can also see a missing section of material on the left where the front panel was chopped from the acrylic. I did one piece first as a test run. Put all okay, carried on with the rest. With dark grey acrylic, laid all the parts out and let the machine get on with it in one go. So that was everything cut out for the prototype. Zooming in for a closer look. After this stage, the parts push out easily. And here is the etched front panel. So here is the, I guess, flat pack of the Siggy, the Modify Siggy enclosure for the Allo Digi1 signature and US bridge. So here's the front panel, laser cut, laser etched, central power switch, off, um, AC line, or pure battery selection for the clean power to the Allo Digi1 signature. Okay, we've got the components for the battery compartment, that's the uh, cover. And side parts, this is the bottom, the base of the enclosure, and we've got the side panel, the opposite side panel. This is the entry for the battery pack, and there's a little cover to make it nice and neat there. We have an inner front panel, the main front panel mounts to this. And the rear panel etched on the surface there, so we've got our SP diff. Outputs there are dirty, 5 volts DC coming in, connection for a USB DAC, Ethernet, and the mains input over here, the AC line. And here is the, the top. So just as a quick guide, everything has been designed to slot together easily. So, these are the battery pack, battery compartment components. So they're going to slot together like 
So, just in there. Do that. It goes in there. Um, then let's get our front panel, which will slot in there. And these will all glue into place. So, we could quickly just throw this together to show the concept. Rear panel. Left-hand side. There. Click, click. Our front panel again. Pop that in. Place. That's it. And top panel. Let's line that up. It's a bit tricky because it's still got protective film on some of these parts. There we go. Click together, and when I assemble this properly, the, then the lower joints will all be glued there. We've got screw holes in the corner to secure the top panel on so that it can be removed for uh, maintenance. Uh, swivel this round, and again, here's where our battery compartment cover goes. And the proper front panel just that will be attached like that. I've pretty much covered how the SIGI is put together uh, in my part section of this video, so I've tried to keep this assembly section short. The panels have a protective film on them. This is removed from the top side before laser cutting, but is left on the other side. It peels off easily though, as you can see here. Just line those up, fit them together, add a cat, cat's inspecting the work here to make sure it's of high enough standard. The panels fit together like this and then can be glued in place. For this first build I initially tried a couple of super glues from Loctite and Gorilla but I felt the best result was when I used a hot glue gun. You can run a bead along the inner edges and there's no sign from the outside. It's pretty simple to assemble everything into the SIGI chassis. First fit the IEC inlet filter and transformer, then wire them up. Here the prototype power supply is adopted from my test unit, but the heatsink is swapped out for a more suitable one. Everything is wired together. The selector switch on the front panel simply routing the power supply or battery source to the clean USB-C on the Digi-1 signature. 10mm standoffs are added on the underside of the Allo US bridge to give clearance for the electrolytic capacitors there. Screw the board in place and we're done on the techie side. I used some basic feet on the bottom of the chassis. To allow the battery pack to slide in and out, I designed a slot at the bottom of the cover panel. This is to allow a cloth ribbon to pass through and make a tab. It's attached to the battery pack with double-sided adhesive tape. So the batteries are behind this cover here. Pull on the tab at the bottom. Out comes the battery pack. You can swap out the batteries and then push it back in. So that's it, one prototype SIGI chassis for the Allo US Bridge signature and Digi1 signature. I think I'll make some small revisions. These aren't essential, but I'd like to improve the battery compartment a little and tighten up tolerances. So I'll get onto that and report back soon. In the meantime, if you would be interested in the flat pack kit of the SIGI chassis, there's a sign up form over on the Modify website. I'll place the link in the description below. If there's enough interest, I can have a batch of these made. I'll look at pricing after I've made my improvements. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to press the thumbs up button below if you liked it. Um, YouTube likes that. Uh, and if this is the sort of thing that interests you, you may be like my more realistic value-led approach to high-end audio or hi-fi upgrades and upcycling, please subscribe to the channel. 
uh, and click on the notification bell to be kept up to date as I post new content. Meanwhile, stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.